So I would like to announce that uh, this is uh, not an introduction, this is a delay. We, uh, we are missing one judge who has run back to her room for a moment. And we are missing two MCs who are currently enjoying the dinner without us. Yeah. But uh, the set runners have to tell them that uh, it is now 7 o'clock. Um, that uh, all of you are now waiting patiently upon them, and I do appreciate that. Um, yesterday, I got to stand on this very same stage and do opening ceremonies for All Con 2010, our sixth point never. Yay! Let's hear for All Con I must say that yesterday I had a sprawling audience of, I think, 12 out here, um, which is very exciting. So that, uh, well, the past couple years, I've, uh, I feel like I've kind of turned around doing opening ceremony, so I've kind of passed it off to my, my other co-workers. I want to talk just a minute about Alcon while I am uh, spending a bit of time here. Um, Alcon, if you've been a dealer, if you've been a vendor, um, if you've been an exhibitor, uh, if you've been a panelist, most of you have at least heard my name. I'm Todd Carlton. Um, I am not the owner of Alcon. Um, I am just the face of Alcon. I'm the one who, who, who brings in all the data, and I distribute it to all the other owners. Um, my beautiful and lovely wife, Tamara Carlton, is in charge of volunteers. So if you've been walking through the house, if you've been walking through the hall and somebody has snagged you to go do something, run something, sit with somebody, bring something, um, that's Tamara running behind the scenes, uh, trying to recruit. Alcon is an all-volunteer run organization, so those of you who help us out, we greatly appreciate the spy of those people who have you. Um, I'll get to that in a Next we have Brian Heyer. Uh, Brian is in charge of the dealer room and the hall exhibits on site. Um, so Brian is also very important to us. If you can get made it to the right table or the wrong table or you swap the table or he's helped you out the dealer room, that's all Brian's doing. So let's hear for Brian. Then we have Lance Moran. Just the fact all of you are sitting here, that means Lance has done his job. Lance is in charge of promotions. We get those cute little postcards in the mail, or if you haven't yet, when you sign up for registration, you will not be getting postcards in the mail. We don't spam. Um, if we want you to come here, we're going to spend 28 cents every time we want to talk to you. So don't be afraid to sign up for registration. We love sending out postcards. It feels slick in our hands. Um, let's see who else is there. Uh, I can't think. Oh, Chris Seymour. If all of you have been here without getting robbed, uh, muggers, um, Chris uh, uh, takes care of security volunteers in the red vests. They're the ones who are annoying you by making sure you have a badge. I personally got stopped yesterday for no badge, got sent back to my room, which was a little bit humiliating. <laughs> my job is to get panelists in and out. The volunteers have no idea who I am. Um, I'm running through, they say, sir, wait, badge. I said, no, all kind 2010, next year's logo. And they go, uh, sir, badge? <laughs> and you can't even train me, you can't say, I'm an exception, stop everybody else. I'm like, mm, that, that's bad. Um, back to the volunteers, our volunteers are very much appreciated, and the way that we reward them, because we can't pay them, is every hour you volunteer, you get a raffle ticket. And the raffle tickets are good on Sunday at our volunteer event. Um, a lot of the subjects will, uh, will pre-sign autographs to give away to the volunteers. Uh, a lot of our vendors will contribute swag or goodies for the volunteers. Um, a lot of the stuff that we get throughout the year, we contribute to the volunteers with a small volunteer budget. What we do is we get the best of the best of stuff to give away to them. T-shirts, DVDs, just, I mean, we're not talking keychains. Uh, I mean, pretty nice stuff. And what we do is instead of going, okay, who wants this DVD? And it's maybe an anime DVD, and it's a stormtrooper who wins it, and he goes, oh, yeah, great. Whereas uh, an anime person, oh, oh, I want that. What we do is we put little boxes in front of all the toys and stuff. So if you want something, you put your tickets in the box you want. If there's something you really, really want, want, like Rift Track DVDs, you put all your tickets into it. If there's something you really don't care about, you put all your tickets into something else. So you spread them out from here or there, I just use that. And that way, as a volunteer, you actually win prize. And, and don't think, okay, we have 100 volunteers, they get, you know, free giveaways. Usually, every volunteer walks away with anywhere between three and ten things each. Um, if you're a volunteer, you're going to get something almost guaranteed. Um, and if you work eight hours, you get in the next year for free. Okay, so you may have had to get in, well, I had to pay to get in to volunteer, yes, you're earning next year's badge. Um, if you volunteer eight hours a year, every year, you never pay to get in again. Um, and the nice part is we have the pre-convention work parties where we create some new programs, we have new badges. Some of my volunteers work eight hours before the convention, they just walk in, they don't have to volunteer, their work's done. All volunteers paid for. So we really appreciate the volunteers. Um, looks like our MCs are here, our uh, judges are here. Judges, do you understand the uh, scoring instructions in front of you? Looks pretty simple. We have trimmed it down. I love talking about years one and two because it's really complicated. Years one and two, we had 10 categories. 
some of them you grade one through ten, others you grade one through five, and then either the judges or I'd have to get out a calculator, calculate their sheet, and then I'd have six sheets I'd have to tabulate, all kind of one. When we had absolutely no idea what we were doing, there was a like, it was between 90 and 120 hours for me to judge to calculate the judging. And by that time, it gets really hot. There's costumes, and we finish up about 90 times. This year we've got some great prizes. Everybody loves the little medallions. We give away trophies. For the reserve and grand champion, we give away trophies and cash. The best costume of the night in all categories, the grand champion gets $200 cash. The reserve grand champion gets $100 cash. Now cosplay, as you know, this is costuming. Some of you may have seen Jenny Queen last year. She was our cosplay guest. She actually works uh, with cosplay.com, cosworks.com. Jenny liked Colcon so well that she had all uh, had cosplay donate some prizes for this year. Now you may think, okay, stormtroopers, you know, there it's costume, but it's not really cosplay. What are you gonna get? A pink wig? What they get is they sent us a gift certificate and they, they pretty much match it all that's got. If the grand champion gets two hundred dollars, they get a two hundred dollar online credit to cosplay. We give the reserve a hundred dollars cash, cosplay and cosworks gives them a hundred dollars in online credits to spend however you want on cosplay.com and cosworks.com. So we really, really greatly appreciate that, which means the grand champion who looks here tonight will have the first place trophy in their category. They'll have the grand prize trophy for the event. They'll have $200 from cosplaycosworks.com and they'll have $200 cash. Now, if that's not a win, I don't know. Now I'm going to preview a little speech from later, which is actually rehearsed. I'm being quite proud of this. Is there anybody here who actually paid for tickets for Guaranteed City and Burlesque tonight? Raise your hand if you paid. We have, what do we have? Two people? Two people paid, paid for Burlesque? Okay, guys, that's a little sad. Let's, let's do this one. Here's audience participation. Who's going to try to get Burlesque for free tonight? Woo! Okay, see all those hands? Now, now everybody, even if it's just not those two, everybody who paid for the Burlesque tickets, please stand up for Woo! Just stand up. Okay, I see three. I sorry, Mr. Hand. Okay, all of you are getting your free. All kind doesn't pay these ladies. Okay, four. All kind doesn't pay the dancers up here. Excuse me, the performers. Watch that. The ones who stood up, their tickets paid for the performance, which means those four people who stood up, they got all of you guys in. You're coming to their party. So I think we owe all of them a round of applause because they're free. <laughs> One more feature for less I want to point out, something we started last year. Aaron Douglas made a spectacularly, uh, uh, phenomenally, uh, oh, fantastic. Um, I don't expect it to do as well this year. We auction off the two front row center seats at Burlesque, um, which means if you were not able to get your ticket because they sold out early online, you have one shot at front row center, and that's an auction. Um, the money for the auction does go back into the convention. Uh, we don't stuff that in our pockets. If you've been in the panel rooms, you see that we've got some brand new 40-inch televisions this year. We've got some new video equipment. Um, all kind of incorporation, our money rolls back in. We unfortunately don't get that ourselves, but we enjoy growing the convention. We get better every year. Thanks to you all, uh, we grow every year. And just a big round of applause for yourselves. We'll get this costume contest going. I have a couple of MCs here. Gloria, if you would come up.